guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this one, we are going to give you a brief overview of LifeBurn's art library. Uh, very easy to use, very beneficial. Uh, it will be a time saver for stuff that you use and reference frequently. So as you can see over here in the top corner, I have my art library already up and I have it selected to birthdays. Now I have a few. Uh, you can obviously, you can fill this, uh, put as many files and folders in it as you want. Um, like I have an American one where I have a, a you know, a couple. Uh, I'm, I'm building this as well. I, I'm getting used to using this uh, frequently. But if, if once I have my graphics populated in there, they're very easy to reference. All I have to do is grab them and drop them in. Um, I do a lot of tumblers, so if I wanted to use my tumbler, I would bring my tumbler in there, and you know, I, I do proofs for the clients, so it'd be really easy for me to just grab that, change the color, uh, have it set to fill, and then use this as an overlay, and then I could send it to the customer. So let's say I wanted to add a new library. We would just click on the new button. Uh, make sure that it's referencing the correct file. Uh, I keep most of my LifeBurn saves in one location. Uh, I have noticed that with new updates, uh, sometimes it refreshes this. So having a reference area or a common folder is going to be very beneficial. Uh, so. I want to create a library that is called common shapes or basic shapes. And it's kind of going to go into my library folder and save. Uh, sure, we'll replace it. Okay, so now I have a basic shapes folder or library uh, that can be filled and then reloaded or unloaded. Uh, depending on if you want to use it. So let's just make a quick square. And I'm going to make sure it's selected. And then I'm going to import graphic from project. And then I'm going to name it. Square. And there you have it. So if you have graphics that you typically reference, um, you can have them all loaded in here drag and drop them and reuse them. It's, it's really that simple. Uh, if we wanted to, if, uh, if I wanted to add to my birthday graphics and I wanted to do a Google search, uh, basically I would do a Google search for you know, black and white image uh, labeled for reuse with modifications so I can edit it a little bit and then it's mine. Uh, let's see, I like that Sweet 16 one with the lips. Um, this graphic is of great quality and size, so I will right click on it and copy my image. And paste. So now that we have our graphic imported, I would do a trace on it. Fade the image, make sure that our lines are okay. This one's kind of pixelated, but it looks all right. It, it, uh, it smoothed out the lines for the most part. Get rid of this graphic. And now I just want to add this one to birthdays. So I would select that, click on birthdays, and then import graphic from project. We'll rename it to sweet. 16 and click OK and now it's part of your art library and that's the basics of it it's fairly simple to use very beneficial uh, take advantage of it all right guys have a good one thanks for watching